Hello there. I'm serving straight, crusty, and busty right out of bed. So I woke up like about an hour ago. My husband forgot. Not an hour ago. Right now it's 7.17. I woke up at like 6, 5.30 or so because my husband forgot his key. So um, he called me to open the door so he could get his key. I think I need to wash this. Ever so often I go in and like wash my microwave cover whenever it starts looking cloudy. I'm so ready to wash it. I really need to organize my countertop. I feel like I get so annoyed when I see it in the background and it looks crazy. So a package was delivered for me yesterday and I want to run downstairs really quickly and see if I see it. Or I could wait until later. I could wait until later. But um, right now, I'm going to check on my wig. One, how am I going to transfer this from that container? You know what? I'm not going to. I'm just going to stay in that one. I'm going to check on my wig and then I'm going to make my banner. Kind of all over the place. It's gloomy outside. You guys even see? Very gloomy. Love a winter morning. I'm going to check on my wig <coughs> because. I washed her last night. Yes, you can see through the damn wig. But that's because it's washed and I let it air dry. So now I need to just brush it out. What did I do? Hold on, y'all. I'm all over the place. Oh. I really need to get some more floating shelves for this space. Anyways, I have so much that I need to do right now, but first, I'm going to brush the wig out and I have to make my bed, so let's see. I'm a lot more ready than I was yesterday. Than I, what is wrong with me? I'm a lot more ready than I was earlier and my wig looks so much better. This morning I decided that I'm gonna actually put some time in to putting this on the right way. I think I'm gonna actually keep it on tonight and see how long it lasts for with the freezing spray and everything. And I made some extra effort and like did some baby hair because yesterday one of the boys at work told me that he did not like my wig and it showcased my forehead and I'm like, Men's really don't have no taste. I said to him, I'm like, yo, what if I had low self-esteem? You couldn't even whisper and tell me that shit, but I'm comfortable in myself and comfortable in the wig and I tried the wig on before I buy it. And I personally like the wig. So I'm just like, I'm sorry you feel that way. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm here. It's just 8.02 and I'm about to, to, I already actually made the coffee. So now I'm about to drink my coffee, figure out what, I'm gonna eat for breakfast. I think I'm gonna just scramble some eggs and just have that. And then I'm going to pack lunch, put my work shirt on, and then I'm gonna pretty much be ready to go. Later on, I'm going to the Dollar Tree, like I said. So, um, yeah. Oh, I didn't say that. So later on when I come home, I wanna go to the Dollar Tree because I have this project that I'm working on and I want to buy some other stuff to go along with that. So super excited and i should just be buying a few items like i shouldn't spend more than 25 to 30 dollars honestly i mean i don't have more than that in my purse and i'm not using my card so that is gonna have to work anyways the wig looks so much better than yesterday sometimes i really just be throwing it on and yesterday i had to take it off two times and put it back on because it was acting up 
and I was really doing the most, which is one of the reasons why I watched it last night. Anyways, I don't want to start rambling because I need to be getting ready. Crap, I need to buy some Ziploc bags too. So I need to put that on a list of things that I need to get from the Dollar Tree later. So, um, yeah. So I just decided that I'm going to go through and quickly make a list for the Dollar Tree. And let me tell you guys how it already looks like it has more than $30 worth of stuff on there. So I have ornaments, ornament hooks, and um, tape and gift wrapping paper on there. <clears throat> and I have my Christmas tree right here. Listen, right now my living room is in all types of shambles. So I have a six foot Christmas tree that is pre-lit. I have this bow that I bought at Home Depot for $4.00. And it's at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, so I'm really in shambles. And I have these ornaments that I bought. This is 101 pieces, and these are pretty much just silver, different shades of silver. So I think what I'm going to do is get some rose gold one to go with that. Because the, the, the theme of my tree is the tree's green and it has lights, and I really wanted a flocked tree, but that was $200 and I was not buying it. Sadly, I was not spending $200. So, I decided to get white ornaments and I got some bows that I should be receiving in the mail either today or tomorrow. And then I'm also getting some rose gold ones to go with that. I have an inspiration picture that I will put on the screen so you guys can see kind of what I'm going for. Listen, let me just tell y'all right now, I'm not that artsy, so my tree is not gonna look exactly like this tree, but that's what I'm going off of because I really like how that tree looks and it's gonna be in that corner over there. How am I gonna make it work? I really don't know but that is the corner that it's gonna go in when I'm thinking about it right now it looks so small so there is a chance that it's gonna have to just stay right here. I don't know my living room is pretty tiny so if I put it there it's gonna I don't know maybe that's not a bad spot for my Christmas tree and then we could sit here and over there. So, I don't know, we'll see. I can just push this couch down a little bit more so it's touching that one. It's pretty much touching it right now. And then, make the tree work for this spot. But I feel like I'm gonna be more compelled to take the tree down quick if I put it in that spot. Anyways, I'm not a Christmas person, so maybe I'm gonna wanna take it down quick. Or maybe I'm gonna really, really like it. But I also have to set it up first to see what the size of it actually looks like and if it can hold over there in that corner. And then we're gonna go from there but so far I do not know hi guys so a girl has been shopping I just left the Dollar Tree but I had bought some additional stuff online and that is some um I could have sworn I just seen these at the Dollar Tree the only difference is they had a red and stuff the theme that I'm going for with my Christmas tree is like silver and gold and like rose gold because my tree is green and I initially wanted a flocked tree but that didn't happen so I'm not gonna be a diva so I'm gonna show you guys the Christmas decor that I bought a tree topper did I say my theme is gonna be like silver and gold and stuff I bought some tissue paper my whole theme is silver and like gold and like white. Bought this little reindeer head. Bought this little church. All these have glitter on them so I know when I'm done the floor is gonna be glittery. I bought this little belt. As I'm shaking it, the glitters are falling off. I bought two of those belts. I bought this. This goes on my refrigerator. So I can put it on there soon. I bought some stuff for the kitchen too dollar can't go wrong I'm trying to pack all the trash up in like one thing so I bought this sign it said while wow, my battery's dying it says believe batteries blinking I'm just gonna go until it dies I bought these ornament hooks green so that they don't show cute little reindeer so I already have this big container of pretty much silver and silver sparkly ornaments and then bought this one at the Dollar Tree with 
rose gold and oh silver i love these these are so cute i love these this i bought at home depot the big one this one was from the dollar tree and i'm going to show you guys the other stuff these are like some swans there's like five inside of them i'm telling you your christmas tree could look really good from the dollar tree the only part that sucks is like ornaments like this that's like a dollar a piece but you can get those regular ornaments and then these ones to kind of spice it up you know and then i got these bells it's four of them i'm not sure if they stay together or if you separate them into four and then i got this wing i felt like i should have gotten two but i think i forgot it's like rose goldy super cute and i bought these snowflakes they are super cute that's it the bag is full of glitter so this is another amazon package because some of the things that i knew that i couldn't get at the dollar tree i went ahead and ordered on amazon like oh my gosh these are smaller than i expected them to be the internet is a liar anyways these are some these are supposed to be gift boxes and I guess you kind of make them. How? I don't know. But at this point, I'm kind of annoyed too because I thought they were going to be bigger and they're not. So now I'm just like, oh my god, what is this? Also, I guess this is kind of how you make them. Fold those little pieces in. That piece in. See, I do not even... Oh! That is it. So something like that. And then this obviously is the cover. But the box is so small. Smaller than I expected. But it wasn't too much money. And I seen a few other boxes that I want to buy at the Burlington. But this is the size of the box. So I think what I'm going to do is wrap a few of these boxes and put underneath the tree once I set it up. Just for decor. Because I expected them to be bigger. But they're not. So I'm going to just use this. To my advantage just now i was gonna buy some like empty boxes at the dollar tree and i'm just like um no i don't know if i have small gifts obviously i could put them in boxes like this but what i have planned so far is not this small so i'm gonna need a few big gift boxes and stuff like that but in the meantime i have some of these they're super cute and super easy and i like that but um yeah that is it for all the things that i bought for my christmas tree and I'm very excited to start putting it together So I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Can I do it myself? I'm not even sure, but that is indeed what I have planned. So, um, yeah, I think maybe I'm gonna end this vlog here so that me setting up the Christmas tree can be a whole different vlog. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video hopefully the next video after this is me putting up the christmas tree so stay tuned for that vlog bye guys